Now that we have learned some of the fundamental rules of probability and the common biases in our thinking, I think we are prepared to move forward and learn some more interesting things. Let's start with an example. I am a professor and in my classes I give exams to students. At the end of the semester, I sit down and analyze students' performances on these exams. Say there were three tests in a class and these were my students' results. The tests were graded from 0 to 10 and each student was given the same exam. Now let's briefly analyze each student individually. Student 1 is clearly a consistently good student who studies hard. Student 2 started off strong but perhaps got too arrogant or thought the course was easy so his performance deteriorated as the course progressed. Student 3 is an average student, not great but he or she passed the course. Student 4 began the course doing well, had trouble in the middle, and then studied hard and pulled his grade back up. Student 5 is just an overall weak student who likely didn't try with low marks all semester. And finally, student 6 stayed motivated and continually improved throughout the course. I purposefully didn't tell you what these exams involved. Each student was given a coin and was asked to toss it 10 times, and their grade was determined by the number of heads they observed. These exams required no skill or hard work, but rather relied entirely on luck. Now you are probably thinking that my analysis of these students was completely irrelevant, and you're right. But this example reveals a lot about the way we think about many things in real life regarding the difference between skill and luck. In many real-life situations, we tend to explain someone's successes or failures mostly based on their hard work, their lack of effort, and so on, just like we did with the students' exam results. There are two important concepts at work here. The first is called the narrative fallacy, wherein we try to explain things and make stories out of events. The second is the hindsight bias, which is where something becomes obvious after the event has occurred. For another example, let's look at finance and stock prices. If you watch the news, you will see stock analysts explaining why stocks rise and fall, and it seems that they know exactly what they are talking about. In reality though, there is a lot of narrative fallacy and hindsight bias occurring when they discuss such events. If they truly knew the reasons behind stocks movements, they should be able to predict the rise and fall of stock prices in the future with a good accuracy. People love stories, and the narrative fallacy is our tendency to assign a story to everything in order to try to explain it. This fallacy can also be applied to things such as sports. Say you are watching a soccer game between teams A and B. If team A wins, the commentators and sports analysts are more likely to talk about the strengths of Team A and the weaknesses of Team B. In reality, there is a lot of luck and uncertainty involved in games like these. One moment of good luck in a soccer game can change the entire outcome of the match. It is easy to see the role luck plays in a sports game because it is somewhat an artificial situation. We make the game, the rules, etc. Although we all have some understanding of the role of luck in sports, there is still a lot of narrative fallacy and hindsight bias at play when sports commentators analyze games in this way. Now, when dealing with true real-life situations, such as in the business world, it can often be much harder to recognize when the narrative fallacy or the hindsight bias are playing a role in something. We tend to underestimate the role of luck and randomness and instead highlight the role of work or talent trying to create stories out of events. People generally like to believe that the world is a fair place and the hard-working people are always rewarded. And both the narrative fallacy and the hindsight bias support this line of thinking. This poses the question, how much of life is really randomness or luck? How much is based on talent, skill or hard work? This is a question many people continue to ponder. And it is not an easy question because it depends on the situation and so on. And I don't claim to know the answer, 
But my main point here is that we should be aware of our tendency to underestimate the role of randomness in our life. This will indeed help us to avoid making costly mistakes when making decisions. We will see an example of such mistakes in the next video.